Hey guys, in today's video, I will show you how to print text messages from Android for court or other legal or archiving purposes. I will show you two easy ways to print Android text messages with all the important pieces of information like date and timestamps and sender's contact information. This information will help you prove these texts belong to you and the other party. So without further ado, let's get started. In the first part of this video, I will use the Android Messages Transfer Tool by Easy Phone Recovery to print SMS conversation from my Android device. It can also help you print picture messages or MMS from your Android. Refer to video description for more information about the tool. Now I will launch this tool on my PC and connect my Samsung Galaxy Android to my PC wirelessly by scanning this QR code. The tool will ask you to download an app after you scan the QR code using your smartphone's camera. You can type tanzi.com forward slash git in your web browser to download the app on your Android without scanning the QR code. In order to install the Android Messages Transfer app on your Android, you will need to enable Installation from Unknown Sources. Open the app and enter the connection code on your computer to link your Android device with your computer. Tap the backup button and the software will start transferring text messages and MMS from Android to your computer. This will take some time, so grab a cup of coffee or something. Please avoid using your phone while the app backs up your text messages. The app just successfully backed up my text messages. As you can see, software loaded all my text conversations onto its interface. You can go to Settings tab and change how contact info or time display right next to your text messages. Now I'll open the text conversation that I want to print. As you can see, the sender's contact information along with the date and timestamp is appearing right next to every text message. This can prove very beneficial if you are planning to use these text messages in a court case or some other similar purposes. You can click the Print button to print all the SMS or text messages associated with this particular contact. If you'd like, you can also click the Copy button to save your Android text messages to your computer in HTML format and print them later. Now let's open the HTML format in a web browser. You can click on Name and Phone Number button if you want to display name and phone of the sender with each text messages. In the HTML file, my text messages are appearing exactly like they were on my Android smartphone. You can go to your web browser menu and easily print the Android text messages that are in the HTML document. Just like saving your Android text messages as HTML file, you can also save your text messages to your computer as PDF. If you want, you can hide the developer logo on your PDF file. You can open this PDF file in Adobe Reader or similar app. 
I'm not a legal expert, but once I used my text conversations as evidence in some legal dispute. At that time, my lawyer advised that copies of text messages should include timestamps showing the date and time of each message along with the contact information of the sender. By the way, the PDF file created in this program fully complies with the PDF-A standard. You can click the print button to print all SMS of your Android device that are displaying in the PDF file. So that was the first and my most preferred method to print Android text messages, especially when you're doing it for court or other archiving purposes. Let's move on to the next one. In the second method, I will show you how to take a screenshot of a text conversation on Android and print it with any wireless printer you have at home or at the office. In order to take a screenshot of your text conversation, you need to first open that particular conversation. Then you will need to hold the volume down key and the power or side key simultaneously until the screen flashes and you hear a click sound. Now you can open this screenshot and print it with your wireless printer. This screenshot method is easy and quick, but there are a few disadvantages associated with this method. First of all, you need to take multiple screenshots to capture a long text conversation. Secondly, sender's contact information and date timestamp won't be visible right next to every text message like it does when you follow the first method. This is how it looks on the paper when you print a screenshot. If you have the Microsoft Phone Companion app installed on both your PC and Android, then you can take the screenshot of text conversation using your computer too. Just open the text conversation you want to capture and use the keyboard shortcuts to take a screenshot. After taking the screenshot, you can use any photo editing app on your computer to crop the unwanted area from the screenshot. So these are a few ways you can use to print text messages from your Android for a court case, trial, or other archiving purposes. Please remember that information provided in this video does not constitute a legal opinion. I hope you will find the video useful. Please don't forget to like the video and share it with others.